Hey guys, today I was working on a hot point, which is the same as a lot of GEs and some RCAs, not many of those around. But the issue was I turned it on, it filled up. I thought it was agitating at first, then I opened it up and realized it wasn't agitating. And I thought maybe the belt was broken or maybe the lid switch was acting up, uh, possibly, but it didn't seem likely. Uh, so I went ahead and decided to drain it and open it up. So I brought the drain spin and it started draining and then it started spinning, which means the belt was not broken. So next thing I did was I let all the water out, took the test clothes I had in and out, and I pulled the agitator out. The agitator in these, they're a Whirlpool type agitator. You'll take this little top off and you'll undo it with a thick 7 16 but these don't work that way. You're basically just gonna reach in, grab on, and give it a nice little pull, and it just snaps in place over this little piece. This little piece so it should just snap on and off. Sometimes it'll be really stuck and you'll have to put a little bar across and then take a ratchet strap, that's how I do it, and run the ratchet strap across it and slowly ratchet it up and eventually it will pop up and come loose. But most of the time you can just kind of manhandle a little bit and make it come up. All right, I pulled that off and then I think this is a 11. Yes, 11 metric. Had them done on top. Take that off. I flipped it over and I thought at first, oh, looks fine. Looks like the teeth are there. And I'll show you. All right, see if I can get close enough. There, you can see the teeth. And they look all right. But if you look past the first eighth of an inch, you see they're ground down to nothing. These are all little flat spots. All in there, you can, you can get your finger barely in. You can actually feel it's flat in there. All right, so that means when the agitator pin was coming up through there, or shaft was coming through there, it's just let it free spin. Underneath. All right, most likely it just got stuck on an article of clothing, twist a little bit, and the shaft on the inside continued to move, and it just broke all those little plastic teeth off. All right, I'll put the, dis uh, the link in the description below to this part. Easy fix. I don't think the part's very much either. Um, to test it, if you're not totally sure, you can take a magnet and put it right here. Most of these run off a little magnet. Some of them will have a little push switch, but most of them are just a magnet. So just take a magnet and you can set it right there, and you can see if it's actually agitating. Sometimes you just kind of lift the lid up and kind of tell for yourself if it's agitating or not, but it's a little bit difficult. All right, besides that, if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If this video helped you, please thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Thanks, guys.